Hey everybody, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm playing in the vintage. I know that that doesn't look like vintage. I know you're looking at the word modern here, but uh, I'm playing in the vintage Untap Open League season six, and I'm playing this modern deck. This is a banned modern deck, but it's so good. I'm going into round two with a win. Uh, the last matchup being survival, so you know, <laughs> it's okay. I hear, I hear, Hogak is pretty good. Hogak is pretty good. Now my opponent says they're gonna mull. Tell me when I can start. Panoy, I'm sorry Panoy, I took too long. Uh, so let's see, we have a Dryad Arbor and a Blood Crypt. I'm gonna say, I'll keep. So it looks like Dank is going to mull. Shoutouts to Dank. Shoutouts to uh, Salted Caramel Tea this time around. Oh man. Oh man, did I just see Drew move them? Oh, <laughs> keeping it five. That's, uh, that's fun. Oi. I'm not supposed to win game one. I'm not supposed to win game one. Let's see. Moved seven cards, shuffled, Drew. Oh, oh, okay, they were deciding, they were deciding. That's fair. Alright. Go for it. Good luck, have fun. Oh, a fetch, cool, going to 19. By the way, shoutouts to this cute little cat, look at that. Look at that. Shoutouts to your dank. Your bitch is... Alright. Yeah, yeah. Instead of having a nice creative title, we get private with T1. <laughs> Mine is always like a vintage untap season with and then their name followed by a title I just made up. Alright, so preordain, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my my deck does not exactly have any any free counter spells. No force of will here. None whatsoever. Alright, let's draw a CAD. Draw your last pathetic card, Yugi. I guess I could do Stitcher Supplier first. I have a Venge Vine, so I'm a little bit inclined to play Faithless Looting so that next turn I can go Stitcher Supplier and a 1-drop. Uh, I would like to fetch just to fill the yard. The, the life total probably doesn't matter in this matchup. It's Char Belcher. The life total probably does not matter. I'm just gonna go out on a limb. You know, as you do. Uh, so we don't have Stomping Grounds in this list. So I just doomed myself to go, ah, oh, I just doomed myself to get a, no, 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 Um, crap. Crap. Okay, so weirdly enough, this deck does not have a stomping ground. And that's thrown me off quite a few times. Uh, this isn't my deck, I just copied and pasted it, and the original deck did not have stomping ground because it needs black mana that badly. Uh, and so, I can get a stomping ground and play the Stitcher Supplier. Or I can get another Blood Crypt and not have green mana for next turn. Uh, so, I think I, I think I goofed, folks. <laughs> I think that's pretty safe to say. I, technically speaking, done goofed. Worst comes to worst, I could get a Blood Crypt, and then if I don't find a second creature, I can play the Dried Arbor to have green mana for the next turn. I guess. I guess... I think I messed myself up though, folks. The, the Venge Vine doesn't, it, that's not cast. The only thing I'm casting with green is Seder Wayfinder. So I think that that can work out. Um, I think I should get a Blood Crypt, despite the misplay. It's so weird not having a single stomping ground, dude. That's so weird. But, no, lo and behold, it does not. So get another Blood Crypt, Faithless Looting, and I'll have extra chances to find lands too. So that's actually, that'll, that'll be okay. That'll work out. We'll make it work. Uh, hello? Hello? Please? Hey, got there. Alright, so Faithless Looting. Faithless Looting. Cool. Already shocked myself. Having some tea? You know, looking at my opponent's deck list, 
This is a, uh, a four Force of Will deck. I wouldn't necessarily blame them for countering this, but when they have so few cards in hand, that's really tough. Oh, oh, <laughs> hi. Hi, Vengevine, Vengevine. I can get uh, Blood Gas as well. And the Yard. Yeah, um... Oh, man. I, I kind of want to do Double Vengevine. I messed myself up, folks. I messed myself up. Because this would be Double Venge... Well, no, no, I, I still need the, another one drop. So never mind. It's, it's not necessarily game-breaking. We'll put the Vengevines in the Yard, and then we will put Blood Ghast in our hand because we actually can cast Blood Ghast. That's not unreasonable. Then pass the turn. You know, as you do, as you do, folks. If I find, if I just manage to top deck another Stitcher Supplier, then this, de <laughs> this deck is going to beat a Vintage deck. Or not. Alright. Say, it resolves. Brainstorm resolves. Yeah, what you gonna do? Not a thing. Not a thing. Not a thing. While my opponent's resolving this brainstorm, going into sideboards, the Thought Seizes are the easiest ends ever. This is a combo deck. I have to bring in Thought Seize. And aside from that, Force of Vigor seems to make sense. As for what to take out, this is a match that's way too fast for Crit Breaker. I think it's too fast for Glow Spore Shaman. As, as good as you are, you're one of her reason. I think it's too fast for Lotlith Troll. Now, this is not the kind of match I don't need removal protection, where Lot Latrol really shines. Uh, I would like to keep... Collective Brutality is weird. Um, it, it's not going to be all that useful most of the time. Fatal Push is out. Actually, let me look at the sideboard. I don't see creatures. So, uh, I mean, there's Ethereum Sculptor. That's, that's a thing. Oh, hi, Ren and Six. How did you get there? Hold on, you have Rin and Six in here? Am I looking at the right deck? I'm dumb. This is Dank Confidant's deck. I'm dumb. Ignore me. I'm... So anyway, anyway, everything, everything I said earlier, just ignore it. Uh, cause I'm a, I'm a genius, folks. Alright, so cool, we're getting back Polluted Delta. Alright, back. Let's see, on to my turn. Untap, go keep, draw. Oh, we got there. We got there, folks. T1 got there. Oh, hello, wrong way. Hey, there we go. Alright, cool. Stitcher Supplier, what you feel like? Mill the top three, which in this is discard the top three, which I guess would be, here we go, discard three. Let's see what I hit, folks. Oh, I should have played the land second. Oh, I should have played the Stitcher Supplier first. Did they, oh. Well, it, it didn't matter because I didn't hit any blood gas, but uh, yeah, that's a problem, folks. That's a problem. I, I goofed. I goofed. All right. Triggers. Hey, guess who's back? Back again. Alright. Uh, let's go to combat. For you. Hello? I said, yeah, for you. Four and four. Hey, there we go. We got somewhere. Wait. What? <laughs> yeah, whales. <laughs> Alright, and then, uh, past turn, I guess. And if they happen to deal with the Venge Vines, I can get them back next turn. I think. I think, actually. Um, because... Gravecrawler? Hmm. What's this? Narset. Okay, cool. 
Never mind, I didn't read the cards. Yep, okay, so we're doing that right off. As you do, as you do. Alright. Alright, folks. <laughs> good times, good times. I, I feel so dumb. I feel so dumb. This deck is dumb in the best possible way. Uh, ignore what I said earlier about uh, game one goes to my opponent because it does not necessarily. I am a, an I am good at fighting through attrition, and uh, yeah, Narset does not do much against me. I am still going to have to kill the Narset. I would not like for it to be a two for one, uh, but it will be a one for one that saved them four damage as well. So that's that's not too bad, I suppose. All right, stuff. Stuff is happening. That is a collective brutality. Uh, with two cards in hand, I... I guess... Let's see, I can do collective brutality, escalate at least once, so that I can look at their hand and drain two, and then I can play a land to get back the Bloodgast. It still won't put them at quite enough where Bloodgast has haste yet, uh, but... I think that that's okay. I think that that's fine. I mean, I, I can't cast the uh, I can't cast the Seder Wayfinders this turn anyway. We'll say escalated once. Modes are it's not duress, but uh, discard and drain. Yeah, okay, we got there. We got there. It took me a sec. Apparently I'm a slow typist, but we got there. Alright, so, uh, Dak Faden and... What was that? Pyroblast? Cool. Alright, and then we're, we're draining. Let's go back up. Trigger. Alright, so let's look through here. It should just be the one. Yep, just you, buddy. Just you. That's all. That's all we've got. I have one, two, three. All right, so cool. Seven, eleven. If you had haste, that'd be lethal. But you don't, so we're going to go to combat. I would like for you two to swing here. And for you to swing here. Three and eight. All right, cool. We got there. We got there, folks. Uh, I will pass the turn and make my field look neat again. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, okay. What are you doing? All right. We got there, folks. I am so dumb. Dank, for whatever reason... Oh, I know why I got mixed up. Okay, it's, it's fine. Yeah, Deck Faden turns out not to be so good in the uh, in this particular matchup. You know how many artifacts I have that they can steal? Two. I have two. I have a Shriekhorn, single copy of Shriekhorn, and an altar, and that's it. Oh my god. Game two. Oh my god. Are we going to do this, folks? Are we going to do this? Okay, well this changes things. Uh, let's look at the deck list again. 26 spells. Now Collective Brutality is kind of sick. Now it's kind of silly. Looking at what they can bring in, Bajuka Bog is the easy one. Like, uh, duh. Bajuka Bog, Crop Rotation, those have to go in. I don't see how they can. Now, no Crop Rotations in the main board, but it's already, you know, it gets Tabernacle, it gets... what else? Yeah, just those two. Bajuka Bog, Tabernacle, and the stuff that's already in the main board, like Strip Mine. That's well and good. Now, other things I'd, I'd have to worry about. Uh, Veil of Summer is just a cantrip in this matchup. Ravenous Trap, Bajuka Bog, Crop Rotation, Graph Digger's Gauge. So they have eight cards to bring in. I think it makes sense for me to bring in Force of Vigor as well. Deals with Graph Digger's Cage, deals with Moxen, so even if it doesn't actually serve as a hate card right then, it deals with something. As for cards to take out, um, 
Now this gets a little bit trickier. Crit Breaker actually is good in this matchup. Um, hello? I, I have to keep in Fatal Push, don't I? Oh man. Oh man. Like, I'm not super worried about the creatures that my opponent has, to be honest. Uh, mine can be bigger, and mine keep coming back. But some of mine don't block. Gravecrawler, Carrion Feeder, Bloodgast, they don't block. Uh, hmm. Maybe I take out the Shriekhorn, I suppose? I, don't, I wouldn't like to take out Shriekhorn Altar, but I don't think that's the game plan I'm going on. I don't think so. Looking at what my opponent already has in the main board, they already have an Ancient Grudge. I don't know that they're, they... they probably are taking it out, actually. Looking through this, they're probably taking it out. Um, Altar does give me something to do against Bolt, and... How many Bolts? Let's see, where did you go? Four Bolts. Okay. I, I'm not too worried about Bolt anyway, though. Okay, so we'll take out the Altar. Take out the Shriekhorn. Shriekhorn out. Ah, oh, it's so weird. They have a lot to bring in against me. It, it's actually kind of scary. It, to be honest, it's actually kind of scary. But we'll make it work. Uh, now, this actually could be a lot less troll matchup. Uh, the region actually mat. Yeah, I, w I would like to keep in Lot with Troll. I think that that's fine. I think that that's okay. Um, am I going too far in on Collective Brutality? It doesn't kill Arcanist, it doesn't kill Tarmogoyf, it does kill Snapcaster, but that is Flash. Uh, I, th I might actually. And that that's a little bit concerning, to be honest. Uh, maybe I, I cut down two Wayfinders? Cut back on two Seder Wayfinders. Uh, I, I think that that's fair. I think that that's fair. Seder Wayfinder. I, I'm already going to fill the yard now that I have you instead, Brutality. Brutality may not be right here, actually. Looking at it... Oh yeah, I already shuffled. Uh, brutality may not be correct. Ooh, look at that sexy hand. And by sexy, I mean I have to mull. Like, uh, folks, when your one land only makes green and is summoning sick, we'll say, uh, mull. So, uh, how do we do this? Uh, where's the mulligan function again? You're in here, aren't you? Hey, there we go. Mulligan! Woo! Cool. Oh, I see lands. One, two, three... Something has to go back, and it's probably the redundant carry and feeder. So that that makes sense. Yeah, we'll do that. Keep. Put you on the bottom. Put you on the bottom of the deck. And say go. I mean, this deck is really redundant anyway. I'll I'll live. I thought about maybe doing carry and feeder instead, but I would like to be able to like carry and feeder seems like the kind of card that you would want in an attrition matchup, since I can get my creatures back. It gives me something to do with excess mana. Alright, this is gonna be fun. I did keep a hand with no hate cards. That's never a good sign, to be honest. Uh, so we can start off with a Gravecrawler for more damage. Let's see. Alright, Overgrown Tomb, Fetch. I have two Fetch lands. We'll play a Fetch land first. I would like to get out a Blood Crypt. Partially because it threatens Faithless Looting, which I don't have. Uh, and partially because I definitely have green mana coming up next anyway. What is going on? Hello? Hey, we got there. I might have... Oh, I might have been in this area accidentally. That'll do it. That'll do it. So, Gravecrawler just for damage. Damage. Pass the turn. And eventually, I'll have, next turn, I'll have the Carrion Feeder Gravecrawler engine just running.
I can play Carry and Feeder first, and then do Grave Crawler the next turn and sack it up to two times. I'm a little bit wary about that. I'm a little wary about playing so early into Graveyard Removal. I mean, they have Ravenous Trap, and, although Ravenous Trap I can limit myself on to keep that from being an issue, uh, which is another reason to play the, the those first. But Jukabog, which they can crop rotate for, well, not anymore. Now they've played the the, the Preordain. So never mind, not anymore. I may have a turn of Reprieve. One turn, but a turn nonetheless. Yeah, oh, oh, sorry. It's, uh, it's good. It's good. You're good, Dank. You're good, Dank. Oh man, no more Life Force juice. Not only am I playing not a vintage deck, <laughs> uh, only technically a vintage deck, but I, uh, oh, they found another land. Cool. I am, uh, Oh, that, that feels like a crop rotation. I'm out of tea. I'm out of tea. So, this isn't looking great. Alright, things I can do here. I can play another land. Seder, you know, I already have the engine going for, uh... Oh. Oh. Should I just attack first? I think that that's fine. We'll attack first. Los. I, I'm a little wary about cashing in my, my faithless looting right now, is the trick. It may sound weird, but it, I think it also makes some sense to play the Seder Wayfinder here first. I don't really have a lot to... I don't really have a lot to take out of my hand just yet. I don't have any more blood grip. Uh, I mean, I have Hogak. That's going out of the hand, for sure. Because that can be cast from the grave. But if I don't find something else, I'm going to have to drop a card I do like. But, if I play the Faithless Looting, I can also play the Carrion Feeder this turn. So, I think that that's fair enough. I think that that's fair. Maybe I'm supposed to fetch first, just to thin. Is that right? Get your deck thinning on. Uh, you know what, though? I'm about to have Faithless Looting... Ooh, okay, 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 this is right, this is right. Because so no matter what, I'm about to turn on Ravenous Trap. If I just simply play the Faithless Looting, I'm turning on Ravenous Trap. Alright, cool. We're gonna fetch. Look a little weird, folks. Oh, wrong way. Hello. I am right-clicking. <laughs> I am intending to right-click. Alright, we got there eventually. Eventually. Uh, does the damage matter in this? Not really. Okay, let's get an Overgrown Tomb. Let's get the Overgrown Tomb. Look at those two beautiful, beautiful swamps. That's an Overgrown Tomb, folks. Uh, we're going to play a Faithless Looting. Since we're already going to turn on the uh, the Ravenous Trap, if it's a thing, I'm going to draw two. Hey, Vengevine. All right. Discard you. Discard you. Pass or uh, move on to Carrion Feeder. Do you not have Mental Misstep? You surely do, right? Yeah, you do. Okay, I mean, it's just a one-up, but hey, it's really good against this deck. Alright, past turn. I can now limit myself on how many times I use Carrion Feeder. Oh, okay, trap. Trap. Yes! Okay, that's what we were expecting. That's what we were expecting. So now that a Ravenous Trap is gone, hopefully... Hopefully, we'll be okay. We can just use this engine to our heart's content. That's the plan. That's the plan. Uh, plus, we have these to just get us going again. So if we need to, we can just go uh, Seder Wayfinder, Stitcher Supplier. Or actually, we can just go Stitcher Supplier, Sack Stitcher Supplier, Seder Wayfinder. And hopefully that'll be enough to have a Vengevine in the yard, because that'll be our second creature for the turn. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say resolves. Now we're in a bit of trouble. Uh, 
Raven's Trap is alright when you're kind of treating it like a one for one, which I effectively was, but no, Ancestral Recall is a three for one. That's not great. That's not great. Also, 48 cards in the deck. We could do much worse. We could do much, much worse. Um, yeah, I can. The opponent kind of had to drop the Ravenous Trap there because otherwise Hogak was coming next turn. Lightning Bolt targeting you. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Thinking. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I kind of want to sack it to itself for style points. <laughs> yeah, there's not a way I can save it, so. Uh, never mind, that gets rid of the Stitcher Supplier shenanigans. Sack to itself for style points. Still goes in the yard. Alright, cool. Alright, so let's see what's coming down next. Recall, Bolt, Blue. Coming back to hand, Gush. Yes! Love me some Gush. I love Gush. Shout out to Stephen Menendian. Shout out to Steve. Uh, I'm still beating myself up. Oh well, it's fine. Play the land back. Fair enough. With blue still floating. Ooh, cage is good. That's good. Uh, I'm gonna say no response. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Draw. The rule. Okay, so with the carrion feeder gone, this gets a little trickier. The way that you're worded is you may put a land card from among them in your hand. So this won't help me find something to get through the graft digger's cage, but I think that I sort of just have to assemble the uh, assemble the legion here. Just assemble the super friends, beat them down with some little dudes, uh, and then just hope I draw into something. I think that that's the game plan now. So we're going to go with you first, buddy. You are a Zambi. <laughs> you are a Zambi. All right. Once again, we'll mill three. All right, what did I hit? Okay. I mean, that's something for later, for sure. That's something for later. Maybe I should have fetched first to thin. Um, I can get a Dryad Arbor, though. So I'm a little bit wary about doing that now. Take two. Hello. Other way? Okay, cool. Now that one's my bad. Just clicked the wrong one. Alright. Let's see. What do we have? What do you say? Alright, cool. So let's, uh... Can we just do... How, how is this worded exactly? Reveal the top four. Can I drag from the deck? Uh... Play two, and then play two. Oh, there's Dryad Arbor. There you are. Oh, crap, you're stuck again. Oh, crap, you're all stuck. All right, I've been told I have to refresh to keep that from being a thing. Enter the game. All right, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay, cool. These cards. These for. Well, geez, there's only one land. I guess I'll take this. And then the rest can maybe one at a time, apparently, go to the yard. That's a little unfortunate. Hogak actually can be cast from the hand, you just can't spend mana on it. So, if that had been able to be in my hand, I could actually play it. Uh, yeah, because Delph does not care about Graft Digger's Cage. Well, that's unfortunate. I have played a land now, and I have the Dryad Arbor in hand, so I guess we'll hit you for two, bud. Everything dies to Ren and Six. Although, in one case, I wouldn't be so, so ashamed about it. Okay, let's see. Natural draws would be good. Would be good. Hogak? Let's see, things that get, get me out of this spot. Hogak, Force... I wouldn't be too mad with a collective brutality. Wouldn't be too mad with that at all. Alright. And say you're good. I'm gonna say you're good. I 
keep reaching over here like somehow it's spawned more tea, like the jar of oil. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Wait a minute, did you just play an extra... Uh, hold, hold on. Hold on, please. Ah, no, I, I may be mess, messed up here, but I think they only had one land, right? Because they gushed, played a land. Did I miss a, a turn in there? Where did gush go? Blue? Alright, where's my turn? Has drawn one card. Change from 14 to 12. Did you play a second land? A second land? Remember, you gushed to one. One land last turn. Or gushed to zero and played one. I mean. It happens. No worries. No worries. <laughs> yeah, even if this is like, treated like competitive REL, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. I give take backs as in competitive REL. And also, it can just be some, some mistakes or UI issues. I don't think this one was, but it happens. Uh, okay, so there's a land there. That's a thing. Uh huh. Let's go untap, upkeep, draw. Collected brutality. Uh, we can live with that. We can live with that. I guess I can try to discard drain. I think that's okay. Ooh, ooh, what's going on? Nice. It's good, man, it's good. Nice. Yo. That's a good card. All right. We're still not out of it just yet. We, we can make it, we just have to hurry. We have to get a move on. Uh, it's four. Bit too good in my honest opinion. I mean, I, I think Veil of Summer is fine for vintage, but then again, fine for vintage is saying a lot. It's like Pyroblast. It's good enough to be main boardable, but it's dead in a lot of matchups. So, you know. Also, this is weird. I was not expecting that. Um I, I guess I guess it's fine. It's it's kind of just a cantrip. Worst case scenario, it's just a cantrip. Uh I'm not playing any blue cards, but I am playing black cards. And if I happen to cast something in the, like a Hogak, they at least get to draw a card. Uh, okay, and then I will pass the turn. So I have five power on board. I have a two turn clock. There is zero chance that two turn clock actually gets me there. I'll need some backup. I'll need something else. Something, anything, please, for the love of God. There's a Goyf? Yep, Goyf. Uh, Price check? Alright, let's see. Sorcery, land, creature. Instant. No planeswalkers. 4-5. 4-5. Okay, we got there. We got there. No planeswalkers. Granted, the deck has quite a few, so... You know, it, it's hat. It's possible. Ooh, that's weird. Uh, you know what? I think we play it. I think we play it. Attack with everything, and then whatever they block gets sacked, and then everything else goes in. Is that correct? Now they could just block the grave crawler, and I can't get the grave crawler back because of Graft Digger's cage. That seems. It seems right. Uh, nevertheless, I kind of have to attack here, don't I? Kind of have to. I'm in a spot where I can win. Alright. Five. 
Jeez. Uh, blocking the Dryad Arbor? Alright. Uh, sack into Carrion Feeder. Alright. Add a counter. Cool. And then pass the turn. Now, Dryad Arbor makes a lot of sense, too. Uh, it's not necessarily what I would have done, but I can see that. I think taking the extra damage off the Gravecrawler makes sense. Oh, we're going to five. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Ah, no response. You got it, no response. You're at five. Can you do it? All right, we're working on it. I don't... Well, maybe they have another Bolt. I, I don't necessarily like taking Bolt out, because you run Snapcaster Mage, uh, and you're about to have four mana open, including Red Red, so I, I don't necessarily like doing that. Also, they just dropped... Well, at this point, the Veil of Summer isn't really necessary. They're looking for an answer, not a counter. So I, I can see that. I don't know. I, I like the Bolt. Uh, if they find Snapcaster Mage, they can Snap Bolt in response to Carrion Feeder trying to put a, a third counter on and being a 4-4. Four because four. when you're a 3-3, three three, uh, it's not great. I'd have to sack another creature to save it. It has one counter, sack a creature, it has two counters, sack to make it three, Bolt in response, sack to make it four. Uh, or sack to make it three, and then the, the previous third and make it four. It's not great. <laughs> it's really not great. Also, we didn't change the, the price, did we? We still have instant... Oh, we better still... Yeah, we still have at least Gush. If nothing else, we still have Gush. And tre and Dig Through Time. Alright, so never mind. It's still... It's still hip and hearty. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, enters the battlefield untapped. Instant or sorcery from your graveyard on top of your library. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, folks, we, uh, we may be in some trouble. I assume recall targeting themselves. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> recall targeting me. Let's go. Alright. Untap. Oh, Avenge Vine. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I have to hang on to that. Um, doesn't actually do all that much anyway. Tarmogorf just jumps it. Okay, so things I can do here. I can attack and get my smallest creep. Like, they're going to block the Carrion Feeder and Gravecrawler. So I can sack Gravecrawler, Seder Wayfinder, Stitcher Supplier into the Carrion Feeder to make it big enough to survive a goif. Oh, but th does that actually do it for me? Like, at this point, Force of Vigor would kill these, but that would make these five sixes. They could also just double block on the Carrion Feeder. Uh, well, they can't do that, because then they go to one. They can't, they can't actually do that. Because then they're just dead next turn. Uh, huh. You're an island. You work with Gush. You're dumb. Jeez. Vintage is such a great format, folks. It's such a great format. Alright, so they're not going to get an enchantment, planeswalker, or artifact into the yard right now. I strongly, strongly suspect. I guess they could ancient grudge their own so that they have a 5 6. That would be cool. That would actually be kind of cool. That would be a really good move. <laughs> I think that would be neat. Uh, but we're going to swing with the team. Six. All right. It's the other one. All right, cool. All or nothing. In response, second to CF.
Do you have a bolt? Kill Goyf? Yeah, that's a 1-1 one, one with four counters. Uh-oh. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Where's the bolt? Where's the bolt? Where's the bolt? Uh, I mean... Oh, nope, they didn't find it. Okay, cool. Whew! Alright. We're in okay shape. We're in okay shape. We, we can live from here. We can live. Uh, if we can manage to find something to do with the Graft Digger's Cage, we can spam Carrion Feed- or Grave Crawler. And that's always fun. Spamming Grave Crawler is fun, as it turns out. Uh-oh, though. Oh, three? Oh, no. Nar- okay, okay, that's fine. I can live with Narset. I can live with that. That's fine. Narset's fine. Yep, okay, so let's see. I mean, it's not fine. It's, it's going to suck in just a moment, but... We'll, we'll get by. We'll live with this. We will live with this. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, Dank. What you got? What you got for me? Let's see. Ah, decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions. I mean, they're not dead yet. <laughs> they're not dead yet. What's this? Ooh, yeah, that seems good. Mystical Tutor seems good. They can go and get anything, man. They can go and get... Time walk? There's gotta be something more impactful than that, right? I guess once they think they're ahead, they can get a treasure cruise. What is this? That's a strip mine. Uh-oh. Please don't fire it off. I need a land. I did not get one, but I got a grave crawler. I guess that's a thing. We'll fire it off now. Ah, uh, just go for lethal, right? Just make them block with the goif. Oh, itchy nose. Okay, mental misstep, that's fine. Okay. Uh, go to combat? I almost hit the pass turn button. Oops. Uh, yeah. Five at you. Make them block with a goif. Response? See if they have anything. Do, 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 do you have it? Okay, cool. Pass turn. Uh, tutor. Yep. Tutor time. There we go. What are we gonna learn today in class? Oh! Let's see. They can't, I mean, ooh, ooh. So Treasure Cruise makes a lot of sense. It gives them a lot of chances for answers, but like if they already have, they, they don't have a bolt. If they did, they'd have fired the bolt off. Uh, what can they get here? They already used Gush. It's got to be Cruise, right? Am I missing something? What do they get? Time, oh, Time Walk. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I respect that. That also makes sense. Just buy yourself an extra turn. Alright, there we go. And they might already have Treasure Cruise, or I may have missed that they already dropped Treasure Cruise somewhere. I don't think so. As we've seen today, I can be something of a, what's the term, a doom cuff? <laughs> an idiot, as we might say here. Force of Will. Okay, uh, sure? Like. I have lethal on board. I don't. I don't care so much for force of will. Um. Yeah, that's a thing. That is indeed a thing. Land. Uh, you're not showing me enough. You're not showing me enough just yet. Now, granted, they can hard cast force of will. Strip mine. Uh oh. 
Well, they don't know about this Vengevine, but at this point, they also don't have to care. They have Force of Will, after all. I'm gonna say that's good. And we can go on with our lives. Oh, they can't use Snapcaster Mage! I just realized! I'm an idiot! They can't use Snapcaster Mage! Oh, I'm so dumb! I'm so dumb! <laughs> Same with Dreadhorde Arcanist. I'm so dumb, folks. I'm so dumb. Wait. What the heck? Oh my god, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. Well, we've seen two Tarmogoyfs, and there are three in the deck. Even just a Snapcaster or an Arcanist to stall for time is fine. Narset's not doing anything now anyway. But, uh... Others? Ren and Six does not do a thing. Narset, just as a one of... Oko! Oh, Jace the Mind Sculptor! Those are real cards. Those are real cards. Those would blow me out here, folks. Uh, I'd be in a bit of trouble. But they could just not find them, which seems pretty hard after three Ancestral Recalls. Three Ancestral Recalls. God, God, I love this game. I love this game so much. You know what? The next deck that I play for this format... Where are you? What's the name of that one again? Mystic Sanctuary? Ah, oh, there you are. Mystic Sanctuary. There we are. Okay. What did I miss? Rain and Six. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna say Resolves. Oh, just getting a land back. Um... Yes? There's a really grindy engine where they can strip mine their own Mystic Sanctuary, get the Mystic Sanctuary back with Rin, and then play it. And then the next turn they can get back Strip Mine to do it again. And they can do that with uh, Ancestral Recall or something for a, a nice grindy engine. I really do appreciate that. Can you tell? Um, what you got? You, you have something. I don't care about this Force of Will, obviously. Alright. Uh, red. Okay, so Vengevine, not so much. Alright! Oh, what do we have? What do we have? Draw. Ah, oh, Right on time. Combat. Five at you. Oh no, oh no. What do they have? What do they have? What is this? What is this? Snap! Okay, snappy boy. Good. Chomp. That is indeed what he's there for. That is indeed what he's there for. Alright. And then, uh, pass the turn. Oh no. Nail biter, folks. Nail biter. Are we going to fetch? We've already used our brainstorm. Uh, Dank has already used brainstorm, so the, the fetch is more understandable. We haven't used ponder yet, though, as I recall. Uh, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. You're deck thinning, you're digging for answers. I don't blame you one bit. Now, using the strip mine there instead of on the Mystic Sanctuary is a, a tiny bit awkward. A little bit. Uh, but it works out. It works. In a deck like this, I'm actually something of an advocate. So, there are 17 lands. That's not enough, but if there were more lands, I'd be an advocate for a one of Fast Bond. So that occasionally you can power out like a turn one Ren and Six, or a turn one Narset. It just, it's a, it's a ramp spell. It's a one mana ramp spell. In a format where your life title doesn't really matter. Uh, I think as a one of, it's okay. Uh, especially when you're running something like this. You're running Mystic Sanctuary, you're running Strip Mine Wasteland. Uh, and you're running Rin and Six. I think it's okay. Uh, but, what do we have? What, where are we? Shuffled their deck, drew a card. Drew. 
If you draw a monster card, then you'll be in. You'll you'll. Your monster card is a time walk. Snapcaster was time walk. Snapcaster is time walk. Oh no! I won. How? <laughs> this. This was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, you didn't strip last turn. Oh, yeah. Okay, so stripping last turn. Oh, uh, I, I, you could have stripped twice. That's true, that's true. I, it wouldn't have saved you the game, but it is true. So we'll uh, reveal, keep revealed. Reveal the hand. Uh, there is that. Um, I was... Oh, I see the tabernacle. Okay, so tabernacle, once you get me to no lands, I'm in trouble. Wondering if you could have time to... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, oh my goodness. I can spell, folks. I can spell. Set up the strip... You know what, fine. Sanctuary engine. Oh, oh, sorry, dude. I still miss a land drop that way. Oh, it wasn't, to be honest. Oh, yeah, uh, Dank is right. Thank you, too. Jeez! What is going on with this stupid, stupid deck? <laughs> Why? Why is this a thing? Uh, how do you spell chow? Like, ah, oh dear. They already left. Like, I Italian. Chow. C-H... Oh, no. It's not chow like the creature from Sonic, right? It's, uh... Is it? Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Alright. Folks, take care, everybody. I will see you later. Bye bye <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm so bad at this game. I'm so bad at this game.